Title, The Camp David Accords, A Comprehensive Analysis of a Historic Peace Agreement. Introduction. The Camp David Accords, signed in 1978, represent a watershed moment in the quest for peace in the Middle East. Bringing together Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat, under the mediation of United States President Jimmy Carter, these agreements laid the groundwork for diplomatic relations between Israel and Egypt. This essay provides a detailed and comprehensive analysis of the Camp David Accords, exploring their historical context, negotiation process, key agreements, impact and legacy in the complex landscape of Arab-Israeli relations. Historical Context the roots of the Camp David Accords can be traced back to the Arab-Israeli conflict, which has been characterized by decades of hostility, wars, and failed peace initiatives. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 led to the displacement of Palestinians and triggered a cycle of violence and territorial disputes with its Arab neighbors. The 1967 Six-Day War further exacerbated tensions, resulting in Israel's occupation of the Sinai Peninsula Gaza Strip, West Bank, and East Jerusalem. Amidst this backdrop of conflict, the Camp David Accords emerged as a beacon of hope for peace in the region. Negotiation Process The Camp David Accords negotiations took place over 13 days, from September 5th to September 17th, 1978, at the presidential retreat of Camp David in Maryland, USA. President Jimmy Carter played a pivotal role as mediator facilitating discussions between Menachem Begin and Anwar Sadat. The negotiations were fraught with challenges, as both sides grappled with deeply entrenched positions and concerns about security, sovereignty, and national identity. Despite the obstacles, the leaders demonstrated courage and commitment to finding common ground, ultimately reaching a historic agreement. Key Agreements The Camp David Accords consisted of two main agreements. One, Framework for Peace in the Middle East. This agreement laid out the principles and guidelines for achieving peace between Israel and its Arab neighbors. It emphasized the need for negotiations based on mutual recognition, security, and withdrawal from occupied territories. Key provisions included Israel's recognition of Egypt's sovereignty over the Sinai Peninsula, the commitment to resolving the Palestinian issue through negotiations, and the establishment of a framework for future peace talks. 2. Israeli-Egyptian Peace Treaty The centerpiece of the Camp David Accords was the Israeli-Egyptian Peace Treaty, signed on March 26, 1979. This treaty formalized the normalization of relations between Israel and Egypt and addressed key issues such as the withdrawal of Israeli forces from the Sinai Peninsula, the establishment of diplomatic relations, and the cessation of hostilities. The treaty also included provisions for security arrangements, including demilitarized zones and monitoring mechanisms. Impact and Legacy The Camp David Accords had a profound impact on the Middle East and the broader international community. The normalization of relations between Israel and Egypt ended decades of hostility and set a precedent for future diplomatic initiatives in the region. Anwar Sadat's bold move to make peace with Israel led to Egypt's readmission to the Arab League and paved the way for subsequent peace treaties, including the Israeli-Jordanian Peace Treaty in 1994. The Accords also solidified Jimmy Carter's reputation as a peacemaker and earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. However, the Camp David Accords also faced criticism and challenges. The agreements did not address the broader Palestinian issue or the status of the occupied territories, leading to ongoing tensions and conflicts in the region. The absence of Palestinian representation at Camp David underscored the complex nature of the Arab-Israeli conflict and the challenges of achieving a comprehensive peace settlement. Conclusion The Camp David Accords remain a testament to the power of diplomacy, dialogue, and compromise in resolving seemingly intractable conflicts. While they did not bring about a comprehensive resolution to the Arab-Israeli conflict, they laid the groundwork for future peace initiatives and demonstrated the possibility of reconciliation between former adversaries. As we reflect on the legacy of the Camp David Accords, we are reminded of the enduring importance of pursuing peace in the Middle East and the critical role of leadership, negotiation, and international cooperation 
in achieving that goal.